welcome to Gemstone Tarot, Thursday the 11th of August, 2022, Venus going into Leo. Okay, and we're joined by Valentine. This is a real triumph at the moment, because Valentine has been, you know, challenged by recent events. Hi, sweetie. Valentine, you want to say hello? She's like, don't push it, woman. Come here, sweetheart, just say he hello. There you go, she's having a scrub. If I get out of the way, you might be able to see her a bit. Um, anyway, she's very happy to be here. Aren't you, Val? You've been lots of purring and lovely things like that. How are you doing? I have been so amused by all your swimming pool comments. <laughs> Who knew? What a world of pain and shame and chlorine and rotting costumes and, you know, turds on the bottom of the pool and all that kind of stuff. Broken glass, diving board nirvana, diving board shame, everything. We've had it all. It's brilliant. Keep them coming. Any of your swimming pool experiences. Um, what is going on outside this morning? Hmm. Well, have they? They've come and, no, haven't, they haven't done the bin, oh my God, they haven't done the bins yet. So you may get a huge ooh, 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 and load of like sweary people outside doing the bins, that could happen. So everyone's bin is sat there in gigantic heat. So that's pleasant, <laughs> um, especially for the ones who don't, you know, just sling the bin bag on the street. So yeah, that's nice, lovely. We should get some seagull action on that as well. Um, so the door across the road that the landlady and the landlord stripped by hand, looking amazing in its wood state, really nice over there, like no paint left on it. Can't tell you how difficult that is, well those of you that have done it will know what a rotten job that is. So you know, I'll keep you updated with what colour they're going to paint it. Would you like to have a guess in the comment section? You know, we could like, without gambling, we could run a, a little, you know, guess. Guess the door colour. Guess the door colour. There you go. And I will let you know. I don't think they're going to dilly-dally because they've really shifted. I think they've been staying in the house for a bit as well. So, good for them. Okay, we are doing Chris Kranz? Kim Kranz. I was like Chris Cross was coming into my mind. <laughs> doing a little jump. Um, what am I like? My mind's all over the place this morning. The wild unknown archetypes, okay? The circular ones, the cheese board. Here we go. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, I have the book, good. I'll biddly bop in a minute and show these to you. Oh. Okay. Now, if we kind of go like that, we'll probably get them in a bit better. There's a reason for this shape, isn't there? Okay, we've got... It's like, now, it's funny, because I read it as the tear and the tear. So let's just say it's both at the moment. And then we've got the gem. A bit like gem stars, isn't it? I'm liking that. And the medallion. Okay. The tear or the tear that we're seeing in two different ways here. I'm kind of seeing a veil that's like, you know when you go through the veil, when you move through what I think people refer to as the 5D, um, or the 3D into the 5D, you go past the sort of curtain of understanding, okay? That's what I get for this, that we move past a certain curtain of understanding, okay? That kind of rhymed. I'm just going to have a quick look in the book because I think there might be something important in here, people. 
that um, we need to know about. Okay, 169. Such a deep deck, this one, isn't it? Tears are droplets of letting go, and once they begin to fall, we allow the swelling tide of emotion to run its elemental course. Oof, that's good. The tear is what is needed, or the tear, I'm saying, in the fabric of understanding, um, for a conversational situation to break to the next level of intimacy and vulnerability. Okay, some say tears are so powerful in softening our ego that they open up a portal to the unseen world through our watery eyes. Through our watery eyes, the ancestors catch a glimpse of us and we're reminded of their eternal embrace. Oh, isn't that nice? We sense our humanity, our humility, and we allow ourselves to be held. It is likely this card appears when there's grieving yet to do. So it's kind of a bit of a five of cups situation, isn't it? A sinking down into disappointment or despair that once acknowledged will bring a shimmer of clarity to our dewy eyes. Oof. Okay, then we have the gem in the centre. And I feel like this is almost like the diamond in the rough. That's what it looks like to me. It looks like the prize. Um, and it looks like what we don't know we're going to get, which is something that happens very much when there's grief or there's sadness or, you know, any kind of difficulty in that way. Sometimes because we're human, we have no idea what's underneath or what's possible or, you know, what's hiding in the rough. I'm just going to see here what they say. The gem always stands in contrast to its surroundings. You can't find it when you're among comfort and pleasant trees. Precious stones develop slowly deep in the earth amid pressure and darkness. Ooh, woof. Um, discovering the gem requires a descent beneath the surface where there's a definitive map. Yet the longing to touch the true gem within us is so strong we can't help but seek out its radiance. Your gem, like your destiny, is unlike any other in the entire world. Keep digging. But I would say that also it's within this tear in, or tear, within this grief, within this darkness, within this difficulty is the gem. Okay. Then the medallion, and this is um, about sacred objects that are passed between families, okay? Um, the medallion, blah, 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 blah. when the medallion card appears, be aware how the objects you hold dear may be embedded with unconscious energy or expectations. Materials hold consciousness. So what I would say here is, is there an object that you revere or own or, or think about or have been touching that is to do with this, that is imbued with this, and that may even represent this, okay? It's a bit of a strange reading, but I think it will really resonate with a lot of you. It's time to reconcile the vibration of the objects around you. What do you cover and collect and why? Is there an object you've held on to for years that you're ready to release? Maybe it's time to reach for the medallion that aligns with your deepest values. When light upholding tradition, protecting, honouring, and when dark, burdensome, inheritance, habituation. Oof. Gosh, people. That's a deep one, as the actress said to the bishop. <sighs> Had to lower the tone, sorry about that. Let me know about this. I'm just thinking, can we even pull an oracle card to go with that? I don't know if we can. Yes, we can. We can do, now where is it? Let me see. Such a mess in the tarot box today. I'm going to do a Belinda Grace again because I loved it when you all chipped in about the sacred woman. And I think that this will go with it. Oh, Val's having a wash. Valid. Ooh. 
look at you. Oh, having a scratch. They are up to date with the flea treatments, but it is hot. Are we going to go X-rated or not? Oh, we're doing the thrice round to find a comfy spot. And there we are. Yeah, another scratch. It's good to have you back with us, Valentine. It's good to have you back, sweetheart. Okay. Belinda Grace. Creativity. So if you are finding it difficult to locate this grief or to locate the gem, or even this can be done with working off found objects. So if you have objects that are particularly significant to you, writing a poem off an object, doing a painting off an object, or just meditating with an object and creativity and love and connection, all very much embodied in this reading. Oh, love that. Leave me a comment and let me know what colour you think they're going to paint the door. They've just opened it actually. Oof, exciting times. And I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.